right, all 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 right, I'm back. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to the Late Night Sneaker Talk Show. We just talk about shoes and everything else that's going on. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been a wacky daylight saving. This is your boy, Landon Strange, and this is the late night show that we talk about nothing but sneakers. We get our first hour in, ladies and gentlemen, and I know it's been a couple days, but if you're seeing this now, I'm about to shoot this now, and then I miss recording the Friday Night Bullshit, so that means I'm about to do a special live episode before this comes out, I mean, after this comes out, so by the time this comes out, my Friday Night Bullshit that I'm doing today with, I've already been out, so make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and check out the channel, and then let me know what you think about the shoes. So, the first shoes that we have here, ladies and gentlemen are the Nike Air Max BN Half Blue. And if this is the Nike Air Max shoe for Air Max Day, I know they have a bunch of colorways coming out. I'll pull out the rest of them later. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm gonna be 100% honest with you. I fully fucks with these shoes. It's the subtlety of that light, that half blue, that light blue with the white, that, that white just pokes out on it. And especially how it's just a simple, calm, and, you know, beautiful shoe. Like, honestly and truthfully, just looking at it, I feel like this is going to be every runner's favorite shoe. If you, Because you're not, you're not doing anything else but being casual and running in these shoes. Let's just be real. Let's be 100% real right here at this moment, ladies and gentlemen. So, honestly and truthfully, there's not too much I can really genuinely say that about the shoe. Because you can't hate it. There's no hate with this shoe. This is genuinely just chill, relaxed vibes. That's honestly something I'm really appreciative of because of the fact, like, I feel like the other colorways that are about to show later in the show look nice, but when it comes to something simplistic, it's something very, 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 very comfortable. This is the shoe. I don't know why the camera is acting weird with me today. I'm not complaining, you know. I just love shooting off the A7R2. Let's just be real. I can use the iPhone, but it's like, why? So, let's look and see what else we have today. What else we've seen on the market today? Because I still have to do my shorts. I'm not going to lie. The shorts are still coming out. It's just work, studying for this exam, getting content out, you know, life and everything else. Nothing but it. That's just excuses. But life goes forward. And even with the change in time, I'm still trying to make a show. Even though I got my glasses on today, means I'm no ho. So don't play with me because you don't know. So let's keep looking further into the sneaker society, the sneaker market. This is why I said I'm wearing the glasses today. Oh, yes. Now we all know what has dropped today. Like, I, like, I mean, don't get me wrong. These are cool, but compared to what everybody else has been talking about when it's like it affects like we might actually get this shoe to come out maybe it's something important and something appreciative and hopefully everybody can accept these shoes for being something great and you know not just being something that you know is a hype beast shoe that's all we can ask for right when it comes to doing certain shoes that's all we can ask for so let's pull up this next shoe now so we can see it in the moment Oh, snap, before I go any further, I did make a post, rest in peace, Kira Tariyama, for everything that he's done for my childhood, like, not only Chrono Trigger, but Dragon Ball Z, Stop the Slump, like, I just, I read a little bit of the manga, but Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball, even the cameo in GT and Super, like, this man was part of my childhood for the longest, so I really want to say, rest in peace, you done all that you could do, we are grateful for everything that you've done, and... Just, can, just your work will live on. Let me move myself out the way for a second. Oh wait, I have two of them. Okay, there we go. Let, there we go. We fixed that piece of mess. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So, right now, right now we have the Black Cat SB4 test. Wear test samples. If I could be one hundred percent honest with y'all. And tell y'all the number one truth, I truly and genuinely don't like fours. That's just my prerogative. But I like SBs. 
And if these are as comfortable as SBs are in, in a Jordan 4 format, these might actually need to be an official drop. I don't understand why they're not, but remember, I'm doing this show late night, so I'm already tired. I have went through a long day, and I might actually do one live coming soon. We'll see. I'm working through a lot of different ideas, a lot of different things, and a lot of different, you know, projects. So we're working through so much right now. So if, if I can go out and skate in these, get my board and skate on these, like this might be it. This might be it for the rest of the time that I need to be in SBs and fours. Because honestly, I'm trying not to buy anything this year. Just focusing on what I need to get done personally in my life. So I'm, after everything I've gotten in my last pair of shoes, I've gotten was a birthday gift. They were the Aqua Sixes. Even though I have a lot of other shoes in my collection that I'm appreciative of. And, you know, a lot of other shoes that I really like and enjoy. But I'm not trying to spend too much more on shoes at the moment. I'm trying to hold out on that. So at the moment, I'm really just chilling on the market at the moment. But these are so nice. I mean, don't get me wrong. I might take that L, but when it comes to getting some new shoes with the problems and if these actually make a legit release, I'm here for it. I am honestly and truthfully here for it with no questions asked. Excuse me, but I will also be making a short on these within the next 24 to 48 hours as well. So that's something of importance as well. Like I'm here for this as an as an entirety. Like I'm glad that they're doing other shoes, the SB4 moniker, even though I'm not a four person. But like I said, I'm not complaining. I am here for the moment. I'm here for the shoes. Now let's see what else we got pulling up now too. Um, we're going to look at another pair of shoes, and I think I might even move myself back in the middle. Oh, maybe not. Okay. Hold on. Let me see if I can fit the screen. There we go. Now, these are the James Hardens, if I'm not mistaken. And, and, and they're called the Dragon Boat Festival Harden 8. Now, like I said earlier, the Harden 8 shoes low-key have been some real genuine sleepers. And in my honest opinion, you know, I'm not denying that they're going to be something of some heat. I just like, the, like, this was for the Year of the Dragon, like, high key. Like, look at me, look at me, look at me. You look at me when you're talking to me. These right here might be some that I slept on once before, but then I came back and be like, hey, I'm going to rock with them. Especially for Harden to be, like the eight, I don't know. The Harden eights have just been consistently no disappointments. I have not seen a singular disappointment out the Harden eight. So, therefore, I love the, the architecture in this year. Don't get me wrong, like the white, the gray, and the tannish cream at the bottom is nice, but the, I guess the gray lining looks nice, like that dark gray, like dark charcoal gray on the bottom to the side, like, I like that, like, that is something very unique to the shoe itself, now that white, that white in the middle is also pretty cool, and you know, the laces are nice, I, I mean, you wouldn't really change too much when it comes to a hardened shoe because of the simple fact, like the shoe is just simple, like simplistic. But the red, the red in the lace for the for that piece, that art piece in the middle, I actually like it. And if you know what it is, what that red piece is, let me know. I can't think of the actual word at the moment. But the shoe itself is genuinely nice. Like I see nothing against the shoe itself. Now, like I said, I normally don't wear my glasses. Like, I'm normally wearing my contacts, but this has been a long day at work. So, no contacts for me, but that doesn't mean I can't talk about sneakers for y'all. So, as we look forward to this shoe, I mean, I'm, I'm honestly and truthfully here for it. Not my biggest investment, but it's something like I could actually see myself buying once I get back into the market because it's something, you know unique about it and there's nothing wrong with a new you know a new unique pair of shoes but you know I mean, i'm not gonna complain either way hold on let me see i might be short there we go 
there we go. Pick myself up, you know, just a little bit more. Well, yeah. Like, let's 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 go deeper. Let's go, let's go somewhere else. Let's let's pull it back. Now, honestly and truthfully, this might be the one and genuine time you might ever hear these words come out of my mouth. And that's okay. I will take this one to a fault. I'm like I said, this is the one probably gonna be one of the rarest moments. I will ever have. Let me get these to first screen. See, some shoes just come up perfect in me. Some shoes just don't. That's fine. Um. Wait, let me see. Fit the screen. Let me see if I can fit this to screen. I'm not even gonna. I'm not gonna talk about it. Let me see if I can just fit these to screen. Well, I guess they fit. Fuck it. Fuck it, we're gonna make this work. We're gonna let this ride. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Like I said, one of the rarest moments you'll ever hear in my mouth. The Drake and Drake Friends and Family Jordan 18th in 2017. Low key looking like a tennis ball. Actually, this is the one time I'm gonna give them credit. These are actually nice. And not nice in the sense of like I'm going I I actually have something like this lime green that matches perfectly that I can wear with them. But it's a simple fact that, excuse me, there's a simple fact like it's the real life tennis ball and I know I have a bunch of it. I have a bunch of fits I can wear with this lime green or this tennis ball green, tennis ball green colorway. But it's just, it's something nice for the Jordan 18s because let's be real. If it ain't one through 14, Maybe 17 at best and right now, and 16 in instance, but 15 and 18, that's very little points. They're only going to get love every now and then. So for 18 to get a special version of this shoe like this, it's really, it's really nice. Like, I, it's really genuinely nice. Now, can we go back in time for a minute? Can we, can we go back in history for a moment? Like, I want to go back in history, like. Don't get me wrong, the Drake shoes are nice, you know, all, you know, all power to be, you know, you know, yeah, yeah, I like Drake, that's cool, not my cup of tea, but I actually like these shoes, now, let's go back in time, oh yeah, oh yeah, here we go, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, here we go, here we go right here, now, we go back in time, ladies and gentlemen, to 2005. Some of y'all wasn't even born in 2005, but that's all right. Some of y'all was just being born around this time. Some of y'all don't even know what sneakers was until the time came. But let me say this. 2005 was a pivotal year for Baseless because when that Marvel collection first dropped, I'm not gonna lie. This was the one time besides motherfucking Marvel vs. Capcom 2 where I fucked with Cyclops. Hands down. These babes was nice. I mean, of course they had the Iron Man, the Silver Surfers, the Incredible Hulks, and a couple others. But these Cyclops? These Cyclops joints? Hey! Hey! And with the re- with them bringing some of them back this past year, yeah, I was hurt that I didn't get any. I, I'm not gonna lie. I was salty in the motherfucker. I will tell you the truth right now to this day. I was salty. I ain't getting none of the other Marvel collab babes that they came out with this past year. But needless to say, even though in my discrepancy and in my pain that I didn't get them, don't mean I don't like the originals that came out back in 2005. Because let's be real, 2005 was a lot of time for the for this uh, shoe and this collection as a whole. But at the end of the day, I'm going to always be appreciative of the babes that really were, that really had a hold on the sneakerhead market, especially when you only knew certain people that can get it at a certain time. If your friends were really out there getting them shoes, they would know what these is. But let's let's look around. Let's see. Let's see what else can we get into today. Ooh. Ooh-wee. Ooh-wee. Oh, we ladies and gentlemen, when it gets to sneakers and get into the sales, like ain't nothing that prevails. But like I said, 
I genuinely like these vapes, and if I find the other versions, I will definitely pull them up just so we can have them on other episodes. But when it comes to this next shoe, I like I said, I'm trying to get into New Balances, and and these right here. But can I be honest with y'all for one second? Can I be honest with y'all? The DTR. DTLR New Balance 9090cc Cyan Burst. If Houston could actually have a decent spring, and if I was back into buying sneakers like I really want to, ladies and gentlemen, I would get these. And I would just get these just to say that I would be in the middle of the fields, you know, in the springtime enjoying some sneakers like these. Like, Honestly and truthfully, I actually just like these shoes themselves the way they are. And it's nothing wrong with just diversify your, your palette or your your idea for the sneaker. But honestly and truthfully, it's something about that cyan burst where it's just all the colors pop and the freshness of spring. Like this is an Easter this will be an Easter pair of picks for me. Hands down. Like I feel like this will perfectly be the, a pair of shoes for Easter that would make you, like, enjoy the shoe itself. And it's like, okay, cool, like, no complaints here. Let me just put on some green or a little, with a little bit of orange and yellow and make the colors pop. Like, I personally like these shoes, and I think they, they're out already. But even though they're out already, I would still go ahead and just go for it. Like, just because of the fact, like, it's a spring shoe. We're in the springtime season. Run it. Like, like I'm not saying take my money. I'm just saying run it. Like, I could literally just go for these and be like, okay, cool. I know what I'm spending my money on. I know what I'm going to be doing. And there's nothing wrong with that, you know. This was shoes that I did not talk on my shorts that I need to hit up. And I'll probably hit them up later throughout the week once I get everything back in momentum. Like I said, Daylight savings is throwing me off, but that doesn't mean I'm not going to be pushing what I'm going to be doing for the channel and thanking all the subs because I still got to work on the actual, like, edited episodes for every one of these because I still have to edit all the other videos. And so, with the, and like I said, these shoes look like they look like they're just comfortable. Like, maybe it's just me. They look like they're just comfy. But let's go back. You know, we got baseball, you know, we got baseball sneakers, and you know, what the hell, um, we, we know, um, it's almost, it's Cleese time as well, and you know, everybody, 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 everybody has their own favorite shoe, and everybody has their own favorite cleats, and so, what I did, what caught me off guard was these coming up right here, and let me see if I can get these, you know, do what I gotta do with them, you know, you know I gotta make sure that fit that screen, cause if I don't fit that screen, that's a motherfucking dream. There we go. Now. No, 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 no. No. Now. Now, where was I if I was rudely interrupted by myself and my own stupidity? Like I said, I'm still, like I said, I'm still going to make sure we get all our content out the way. Because at the end of the day, I want to at least give y'all a show within itself. That is my dedication to all I do here. So, Nike Baseball is releasing a version of its Alpha Harachi Elite Floor Elite Four Low Cleat, aka Jackie Robinson colorway. And I'm not gonna lie, that blue and I, that blue. These, these are baseball cleats. That's the that's the most dangerous part about it. Not that they just cleats, but they baseball cleats. So my foot is already gonna hurt them regardless. But it's some about that blue with that pentatonic at the bottom and that gold. Like, like <sighs> y'all trying to get me to spend my money. I'm not spending my money. I need to save my money. But honestly and truthfully. These cleats, really nice, and I guess that's, I guess they're doing two releases, because you gotta remember, they also got the Air Maxes coming out as well, 
And so with these cleats and a pair of Air Maxes, you really can't go wrong with Jackie Robinson this year in his shoes, especially since he had the fi- one of the firest pair of dunks last year, hands down. And it's just something about these cleats that just, that just subtlety, just subtle. Now, now it's just something that I really, really want to talk about, and maybe it's just me. You know, maybe maybe there's some things I just enjoy about just looking at a good pair of kicks. And I know y'all do too because, I mean, come on now. Think of nostalgies. We are all friends here. We're all people of the kicks. We all love, all love the kicks, ladies and gentlemen. And so I'm about to pull up another shoe. And I, and I will tell y'all my honest opinion about the shoe, but... Let's just sit in amazement about these cleats a little bit longer. Just a little bit longer. Now, when it comes to like doing stuff like this, and I admit it's it's really hard to stay consistent, but I'm working every day to make sure I give y'all consistent content and making sure that y'all get consistent enjoyment out of it. That that I make sure y'all are that we're all appreciative of it, but. When it comes to this shoe, like I said earlier, not my cup of tea, but I'll still support it. Now, I have friends all over the place that really appreciate the Fear Fours. Fours in general, but the Fear Fours. I mean, I have no personal discrepancy with the Fear Fours. Honestly and truthfully, I feel like the Fear Colorways came out a couple other times with the threes and I think the fives is if I'm not, if I'm not mistaken. And I feel like the Fear Fours might be a miss to me. Like I'm personally not gonna be the one to fool with them. And it might they might end up in the re- they might end up in the outlet for cheaper than what I've seen like other fear the fear collaborations go for. Don't get me wrong, I'm I wish them the best in their success, but I feel like these are also going to get stuffed under the rug. Like, if they're not a hype these shoe, they're not going to sell in the market. And I want these to genuinely sell. But I feel like at the same time, with the market the way it is, we already know how people are. And we know if they don't... And with them going to the outlet, honestly, some of the best shoes, I've ever, best numbered J's I've ever gotten were in the outlet. So I can't fault the outlet for being a bad place, especially... This is the best time, in my personal opinion. Like, don't get me wrong, I I was in the golden era of retros, and I can say that that was a great era, But and that was when prices were cheap, but when you really think about it, when a lot of sneakers that are, that are not selling, that are going to the outlet, making a return to the outlet at a cheap, at a cheap price, you, you become appreciative of that. You become grateful of that moment, and you really are thankful for that idea, that that process. That yeah, they didn't sell, and they're still sitting, but they're still sitting. That means, in the long run, that at this time we can probably get them for way cheaper than what they are. And I, I'm kind of here for it. I don't know about y'all, but if y'all here for it, let me know in the comments below. Because honestly, I really want to know y'all take on this, but. Let's move forward. Let's move on. We have another shoe to look at. I don't think I spent enough time with this, and maybe I'm wrong, but I just feel like my opinion is a little bit valid when it comes to like looking for retro J's in the Nike outlet and actually picking up like legit numbered shoes and them not selling so like you can get them at a cheaper price, even if they're ugly or not. You're still getting. You still get. You have every opportunity to get retros that are at least in the market and you can enjoy them for your sake and at a cheaper price than what you would get mm, excuse me, in the store so that's why I'm appreciative of this but let's go look at this next shoe ladies and gentlemen hold on let me see if this is the right way to fit the screen because you know if we ain't fitting the screen we ain't fitting the memes so there we go ladies and gentlemen alright now we got the New Balance 9060 pink and silver. And honestly and truthfully, 
if I could say one thing, this is the closest thing to a pair of regular ice cream New Balances or Neapolitan New Balances that are actually, excuse me, pretty solid. Like, am I complaining about the New Balances? No, 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 no. What I'm saying is these New Balances, in my opinion, and they're my opinion alone, are actually genuinely solidly nice. Like, like, I don't know what it is about the New Balances nowadays just making a bit, the point that we're going to come out stunting. But with these, it's like they look like a pair of ice cream. Like, they look like you got ice cream on your feet or a pair of, a pair of, cereal, a pair of cereal New Balances on your feet that you're really just chilling in because it's a casual day and there's nothing else to do but enjoy the cereal that you got on your feet. Oh, that's right. I forgot. Now that now I know what now I know why Travis Scott was at Raw tonight. He, it's Raw was in Houston tonight. It's the only thing that made legitimate sense and that I did not realize until just now while filming. So by the time this comes out on Tuesday, you'll probably be asking, What do you mean Travis Scott was in Houston? He was at Raw last this he was at Raw tonight, but that's neither here nor there. Okay. Now, I will admit, I don't do this person's shoe often on the channel, and I rarely do this person's shoe often on the show. But I'm going to do something nice, and I'm going to do something different. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we're on the 20, we're about to be on the 28th minute, so I want I want to give my fair and honest review about this shoe. So I'm going to wait till that timer gets to the 28th minute, because we're going to make sure we enjoy every second of the show. All right, LeBron 21, Nike, cool gray, LeBron James. Honestly and truthfully, as I look at the shoe, I have nothing against LeBron. That Nike check silver, bright silver is actually pretty solid. Do I like the shoe? <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong, a solidly gray shoe, not my cup of tea, but you know, you can do so much with that shoe that you can actually enjoy wearing the shoe. Oh, excuse me. Not my cup of tea. If you like this shoe, all power to you, no questions asked. My only statement is, is that I, I just like the weirdness in the shoe, right? Like, if you look at the way it waves and you see how the shoelaces, when you pull the shoelaces out, it actually, I guess, holding the shoelaces itself. It's a weirdness. It's a wavy weirdness. Especially since LeBron is the only person in the league that's scoring 40,000 points. All due respect. All due respect. I actually, I just like to shoot for the waviness of it. Like, it is such a wavy shoe. Like, it's really cool. Not my cup of tea, but I... I wouldn't personally buy it, but I know people that would. And I'm not discrediting the shoe at all. Like, but, but at the same time, I'm just here that LeBron, I'm just happy that LeBron scored his 40th thousand points. So I know, I'm, I know that's old news, but at the same time, can't be mad. Man scored 40,000 points. Everybody has that, everybody has their own opinion about LeBron. I'm not speaking mine because I want to make sure I get at least a decent fan base before anything is said or anything is lost. But I just want to say, proud of him. That's it. And I leave it at that. Now, as we are into the 30th minute, and I'm going to do another back-to-back LeBron shoe. These, on the other hand, and I think these are Bronny shoes, if I'm not mistaken. You know, Bronny is a USC in the LeBron in the USC colorway actually is pretty decent. Actually, I'm not going to lie. But he, Bronny has his own version, his own PE to LeBron next gen with the number six on his shoe. So at least he got his own version of his dad's shoe. No discrediting from that. At the same time, well, you better milk that cow. If you can get your own PEs, you better milk that cow and run it. You better be thinking of multiple different variations of your own PEs. 
I'm not gonna say he's a fire or not. I'm just gonna say these are actually cool. You know, like honestly and truthfully, like no complaint in this boy having his own shoe. Especially while he's in college at USC. But I'm just saying, milk this cow. Milk it. Like, you're getting your own PE. I'm not telling you what to do. I'm just saying, if, if you had the opportunity to get another one, do it. Enjoy this time, because you never know. You might have your own version of your your own version of a shoe come out and they can always say this was the first generation of that shoe. I'm not saying milk it in a bad way. Don't take my don't take that out of turn. What I'm saying is you're getting an opportunity to be creative, especially since you have your own version of a shoe. At least enjoy it and run with it. And that way at least what you're running with it, you if you ever do get your own shoe to come out, they can always say your first inspired shoe was this shoe right here. So that's what I meant by milk it with. Do not take it out of context when I say that because honestly and truthfully, you at least you, you you have something that most people don't have, and that is their own variation of a shoe that actually looks genuinely nice. So that's my thing about it. No discrediting Bronny or LeBron James. I'm just saying like run with what you got, and if you got it, run it because that's the only way that you you don't know what where it might take you or what you might be able to do with that blessing and that way you'll be able to run with it the best you can that is all i'm saying now i did say a mouthful and i do need a breather so let's go to something easy and relaxing and not too too complex of a shoe all right and we're going with the airships we're not just going with any airships we're going with and let me see if I let me see if I say it right, cause you know I, no people clown me on motherfucking YouTube whenever I say the company name wrong, especially after having store in my city and actually meeting the creator, the founder and creator, and actually you know enjoy and actually loving the airships. I'm on my year and Jordan airships have came out with a vintage green colorway. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. Now, I will say this, and I will say this in all honesty. Like, like no shade whatsoever. I have the corporate airships, and I love them to death. Because that is a Tiffany bluish green that I can enjoy. These airships, these vintage, uh, these airships, though, this vintage, for 140, I mean, even though... We all know the history. We all should know the history of the airship. So if you don't know, I would say the airship was basically the first model of the shoe that originally was supposed to be Jordan's original shoe before the Air Jordan 1. But instead, they took forever. They didn't start coming back out until last year or the year before last. But at the same time, they have their own popularity themselves. But something about this vintage green reminds me of the Air Python a little bit. Which was also its own version of the two, but these are actually a solid shoe, like a solid like daylight savings is already hitting. We're in the spring season, which is cool. So having these solid spring shoes come out are genuinely nice, in my opinion. But we're gonna take a quick few second break, and we're gonna get to the next shoe. So we'll be right back.
All right, I'm back. I do apologize for not changing the shoe, but like I said, I'm not fully live, but at the same time, I'm still recording. So, like I said, I, I, I want to do this live, but it's going to take me a little bit of time to get everything set up. So, that's why I'm doing these episodes first, because I actually could have went live in the midst of this, but I said, not today. I'm still, you know, exhausted from work and adjusting. So, hopefully, hopefully after I come back from New Orleans, we should be able to go live. But let's click on these. Now, and I know y'all want to see different shoes, so I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Now, now hold up a second. Now, I saw these, and in my right mind, I was like, are y'all trying to make a solid gray version of The Walking Dead? Because if y'all are, you know... Not spicy about that. I could be. Should be. But I'm not. Now, I forgot the name of the issue, and I'm about to get to it in just a second. So give me one second, because I'm literally multitasking at the same damn time. All right, here we go. Here we go. Now, these are called the Verde SB Low Vix. Now, who am I to say I don't like fur on my shoes? What kind of person am I? What kind of person am I to say I don't like the fur on these? Because I like them. I like them a lot. I like them a lot. I like them a lot. They could have been called the, the Sasquatch dogs from Dog Stalkers, if you ask me. Like, these would have been it right here in the moment. I'm not picky. It's a, like I said, it's a solid gray shoe. No complaints. But when it comes down to it, I hope that fur doesn't come off. So, we're going to pull up another shoe in just a second. But if I could say something else, I really do hope these are limited. I really do hope these are very limited for only the reason because I saw the other pair that came out and I actually just like these just to be like like a gr somebody's grail to enjoy like the white laces I'm just saying truthfully the white laces is probably the only thing that I would say I would actually get some gray laces for them just to make it an all gray fit but the white actually pops out the white laces pop like the fur is one thing and the and I think that's mo like the animal fur is one thing, and the leather on the on the darker gray material is nice. But when you look at the white laces, it's like it, the white laces grab your attention. It pops, and so that is one of those very few things that you just look at and be like, I see what you're doing with this, and I appreciate for you doing it. But these hoes are gonna be fire one day, and I'm not gonna and I'm not gonna want to sell them. I only want to wear them. So. That's why it, it's really a hit or miss depending on how you look at the shoe. But to me personally, I think these might actually be a sub, not even a subpar hit. They're going to be a hit. But I don't think they're going to be on the Walking Dead or the Chunky Dunky level hit. I think they're just going to be under that, in my personal opinion. Because the other ones, I think, are going to be the ones that be the bigger hit. Maybe I'm wrong. Let me know in the comments. But that's how I feel. So, we got another shoe. And I guess if I wanted to take it back to the Babesters, I would take it back to Bathe and Apes, because, you know, the, the Bathe and Apes is really where it's at. Like, Apes shall never kill Apes. Planet of the Apes, if y'all know. Oh, my God. This is why we don't stretch, this is why we don't stretch the screen. We fit the screen, because fit the screen really shows you the shoe and its righteousness. But... But at the same time, when it comes to these, these bathing apes, and I actually, I don't, I'm not going to say I like every color, because I don't, in all honesty, but I know they come out March 16th, the camo pack, the white camo pack, now, the blue camo, cool, I mean, regular camo, I mean, everybody should at least try to get the regular camo. But that pink camo, that takes you back to when everybody was having the Bathe and Ape fully zipped up hoodies. Now, don't, like, the pink ones take you back. Like, the pink ones are just, like, in my opinion, a sneaker that's just for, like, the grail moments of, like, we're going back in time to a point 
that we can appreciate it because of the fact that at the end of the day, the shoe is subtle. It's a white shoe with just a camo star. I mean, the camo outline and a white star. I mean, the pink ones really pop more only because of the simple fact that it takes you back. The blue ones also take you back to when Kanye was wearing the jackets and Wayne was wearing the jackets in the camo. The camo ones. But, I mean, let me know what y'all would get out of these three pairs. Because me personally, if I, had to, if I had to really choose the pair I would personally get, I would get the blue pair, even though I just said I vouch for that pink pair. Now, there was some other shoes I've seen. Like, I'm not going to stick on Nike all day because, you know, we all get tired of just seeing Nikes every now and then. And, and in all honesty, I can respect that. I think I did these already, and I don't know. But if I did, let me know in the comments below because I really want to know what y'all think of these. Like I said, I'm trying to make sure I don't do any shoes repetitively unless I did, like, a compilation or whatnot. And so with these, we're going to do... Let me see. Let me get that fit the screen because you know I got to fit the screen. All right. Now, did I lose my mark? I lost my mark yet again, ladies and gentlemen. You know, when you lose your mark, you don't get you don't get your start. Now, where were we, ladies and gentlemen? Before, I, okay. So, a few collaboration with the Dora V7000, highly addictive from 2017. This is a blast from the past, in my opinion. And honestly and truthfully, I've never seen these before. But I fucks with them. I, I Something different, I genuinely fucks with. Not for my personal style. I just, it's something about the sneaker itself. And like I said, it's a collaboration shoe. So most collaborations are going to be nice regardless. They don't want to, you know, they don't want to bring out anything that wouldn't hit the market and be decent. But when it comes to something like this, and just saying highly addictive, I mean, you got two different versions of, you got that light fuchsia, that light red, with that dark cherry red on top, you got like a mint slash apple green in the midst of the shoe, you got a white in the crossover with that black and that gray, and it's a two-tone gray closest to the end of the symbol, and the honestly and truly, it's still a nice, solid shoe with a foundation. There's nothing wrong with the shoe. I just never seen the shoe until like a couple of days ago, and I was like, "Hey, hey, you there? Where were y'all? Where were y'all when the streets was hot?" Because honestly and truthfully, I, I'm not gonna bullshit you because I never bullshit y'all. Like, I've never seen the shoe until a couple of days ago. But there are some. There is something that also caught me off guard too, and it's not with this brand. This brand didn't do nothing wrong. I'm going to pull up my next two shoes, and and then y'all can tell me if I'm wrong with wrong on the second shoe, not the first shoe. The first shoe that I'm about to pull up after these are nice, too. Like, don't get me wrong. These are solid, solid foundation. But let's see. Let's see. Now... These are called the Kamiya, and uh, excuse me, I said it wrong, but Kamiya at Sony 3D Grid NOLA. As a person who travels to NOLA, let me let me fit the screen just to make sure I get it right. Let me fit the let me fit that boy the screen. Now, as somebody who travels to NOLA a lot, it's something about these NOLA like honestly, I walk around Bourbon with these. Take me I'll go on Canal Street with these, like honestly and truly, like I would end up on Canal Street wear these and be comfortable as hell. Because honestly and truly, when it comes to something like this, like that purple, I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm not a, a member of Omega Sci Fi. Shout out to all the cues I know. But honestly, for the Lakers colors or for the Vikings colors, then this is no look. Like for the Mardi Gras colors itself, like what I think, no green. That's fine. I can I can live with no green, but I like the shoe. Something different, you know, something that makes the colors pop. Now, 
my next shoe on the other hand this is where i i i personally take offense to it and this is just me but new balance new balance are y'all copying are y'all copying new balance i mean let me get out that let me get out that fit, fit you know that straight screen give me that fit screen that fit the screen there we go new balance the new balance nine nine one v2 made in england re releasing march 3rd now the new balances and the yeezys now tell me you don't see a comparison between the two i'm sorry had to catch a breather but Tell me you don't see a comparison between the Yeezys and the New Balances. Because if you tell me you don't see a difference between the two, you're lying. Because there's no way in the hell that these two damn near don't look identical. And you don't see the difference. Like, you can't tell me that you don't see the similarity between these two shoes. I'm sorry. There's no way in hell you can you you can't see the difference between these two shoes. They're like, New Balance really just try to do a copy and paste and make their own version of a pair of Yeezys. Like, let's be real. Let's be honest and let's be real with ourselves. And we say, like, come on now. Come on now. Come on. Come on, New Balance. Y'all had a chance to be great on y'all own. And then y'all do this. Like, y'all had a chance to do something on y'all own and mind y'all own damn business, but instead, y'all go to, like, doing some, doing basically a copy. Like, come on now. Like, New Balance. Now, since New Balance then, you know, made me want to scurry away from them actually being, me actually being nice to them and saying they actually done something original. I want to ask an underrated question before I get to like closer to the end of the show. Now, let me fit, let me stretch that sucker, to stretch that screen. Fit the screen, there we go. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to get to these two because I want to I wanna say something about these as well in a second. But the 2010 Silver. Anniversary 11s. Now, were they a hit or a miss? Was this one of the underrated 11s? Because that's the real question. I want to know, were these really, like, underrated? Because, honestly, I remember these coming out. And I remember them selling. And I remember a lot of people that did have them really wasn't wearing them. Because they didn't want to mess them up. And in my opinion, in my honest opinion, and this is just me talking here, this is just me, you know, pulling up from the market, I, I still think these are a pair of cleanest pair of 11s I've seen in a long ass time, and it's something that will never get re-released again. Because people do not know what they have. They do not know how to appreciate the shoes that they have. But I want to know, in y'all opinion, were these one of the most underrated 11s that ever come out? Like, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Because at the same time, I want to know, what do y'all think about these shoes? It's not all about me. It's what I want. I want to know what y'all think about them. So, let's look, let's look around and see what else we can get going. Because... Honestly and truthfully, those are nice. Oh, snap. Now, of course, this came out last month, and I would be remiss in saying this in my personal opinion. But we, we have a first look at the Kobe Bryant Nike Air Force One lows. And honestly and truthfully, they're still a nice shoe. That... So don't don't think I'm not saying they're a nice shoe. 
I'm just saying, I'm glad that this is the second time they use Kobe on a pair of Air Force One. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Nothing, you know, rude. Nothing, you know, out of pocket. I'm just, I'm just happy. That's it. That's all I want to say. That's all I genuinely am going to say. Like, because honestly and truthfully, I, I can't wait for these to come back, come out either. Like Air Force One. Hopefully, hopefully these will be safe to grab. Instead of everybody robbing the store for like the Kobe's, at least I can get a pair of Air Force Ones and not have to worry about them, you know, going out of style because they have Kobe branding on them. Even though I'm gonna be real with myself and say, yeah, they are gonna do that, but I, I, I'm being positive right now. Now, and that's just me being positive, I, honestly and truthfully. I, I'm normally not this optimistic when it comes to like certain sneakers that's out in the market, but I, I want to be optimistic for these only because of the simple fact, like. The Air Force market is either a hit or a miss, and not everybody's, you know, here for that. But at the same time, at the same time, I could support people's decision on if they, if you know, if they fucking with it or not. Nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. I just want to know, will I ever get a chance to get a pair of decent Kobe shoes in this era, especially at this time when, you know, the market the way it is? Now. Let me fit the let me fit the screen these so you can see these in its proper place because if you don't you don't won't. All right, Miles Morales, ladies and gentlemen, is getting to Pumas. I like that. I like it in the weird sense. Because the reason why I like this is because the simple fact like. Hmm. The reason I, I they could have done more with the shoe. I mean, it's a simple shoe, and I'm glad that Miles is getting his own version of shoes as his own Spider-Man character. That's fine. I mean, you got the Jordans that have came out, you got the Adidas that have came out, and now you have a pair of Pumas that are coming out. So there's nothing wrong with that for Miles. Hmm. Excuse me. My only personal discrepancy is like the Jordans actually did the most so far out of how they accustomed to Miles' creativity when it comes to the shoe. Instead of like the Pumas and the Adidas, you know, doing way more with the opportunity to be creative. They're not like don't get me wrong, it's this is a simplistic shoe and it's cool, but they have opportunities to be way more creative. And that is where they're missing the mark, in my personal opinion. You have the best chance to be way, way, way more creative. But you're choosing not to be this creative. And I and I've that was been my one question is if you're gonna have this type of shoe, why not be fucking creative? That's my personal opinion. Like, you have the opportunity to be great. Cool. 100% cool. But if you're going to be this great, you at least have to be creative with it. Like, that's all I'm saying. Like, like, at least take the opportunity to be creative with the shoe. That's it. Like, not too much else I could say. Not too much else I could talk about. But honestly and truthfully, at least be a little bit more creative. Because at the end of the day, when it comes down to it, these shoes have an opportunity to be something better than what they are. And simplicity, a lot of times, is great. But not for a character like Miles. You could have done a little bit more with Miles. That's all I'm saying. All right. Let's see what else we got to get the market with before you know. Let, before you know, we have to end the show because you know it's almost that time. It's, you know it's almost that time that we have to end the show. And I, I guess I'm going to throw out one of these. Oh, yeah, because I did say I was going to show y'all some more of uh, the other shoes. Uh, the Air Max DNs, and I don't think I have that, and I'll probably say that for the next episode. Excuse me. Ooh. Excuse, excuse, excuse me. Um, actually, I'll do you one better. I'll do y'all one better, because I really appreciate everybody who's tuning into the channel. I'm going to drop two shoes and two shoes. So, after this 
hit the shoot, hit the, hit the thingy for the steam lab. There we go. And hit that, you know, hit that, um, hit that, um, hit that, um, fit the screen. Now, these are the New Balance 550 Y2Ks from 2024. And the one thing I will say about these shoes is that they remind me of the Simpsons, like the arcade Simpsons game. And I'm not flaming anybody. I'm just saying this is what this shoe reminds me of. It reminds me of going to the arcade, looking at the arcade cabinet, and I'm about to play the motherfucking Sim the Konami Simpsons game that everybody from the 90s loved. So, in my honest opinion, as bright as these shoes are, I'm not saying they bad for me. They're not, but they're not my cup of tea. That's my only thing. They're not my cup of tea. But other than that. I can see it now where people are like, oh, yeah, I'm about to get these. I'm about to fuck with these. These hoes is killer. And they have a whole Simpsons fit on. And, like, that's like, like I said, not my cup of tea, so I'm not digging into that argument. But I will say that if you rock these hoes and you, you make these hoes work, all power to you. All power to you. Like, no questions asked because... Me personally, I I personally can't do nothing with them. I give them, I give them all to y'all. Wait a damn minute, wait a goddamn minute. I'm sorry. I just noticed something that just blew my mind that just caught me off guard. And if you know me personally, and this is how I'm gonna end the show. And I, I just saw something that blew my mind and I didn't even catch it till just now. So you mean to tell me? You you mean to motherfucking tell me? Hold on. And this is nothing against these girls. So don't ever think I'm talking about these young women. Never. No. I'm about to show you something that blew my mind and it showed me it makes me want to be happier as a fan of theirs. But I'm not gonna show the photo now. Um, I'm gonna show the shoe, not the photo. Cause if I show the photo, they might flag my flag my page, and I ain't got time for it. So, so first thing is first. Let me see if I can get the shoe real quick. But like I said, I ain't got much time on here. You know, I'm appreciative of everybody. You know, checking out the show and whatnot. And you know. Making the best of what I making the best of the situation, especially since this is something new. Come on now, come on now. Where are y'all? Well, I'm gonna have to show the photo, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, to end this show off in the best way possible. The lovely ladies of New Jeans are rocking. The new Air Max DNs, and they're not—they're not just rocking any pair, because I love—I love new jeans. Don't get me wrong, I love new jeans, but they're not just rocking any pair. I'm—I'm fr I'm trying to find the photo, of the exact pair, and they're rocking the, the arch, the light crimson pair, the anchorite and dark crimson pair, and I'm putting this into the into the thing right now just so we can make sure that these get seen in the right way of justice. No, we gotta do it for justice. The ladies in new jeans were rocking knees, ladies and gentlemen. And I I love new jeans music. But if I can say anything about these right quick as a last shoe for the night and before I sign out as Madness Train and get to my Friday night bullshit on a Monday, I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this. Them hoes fire. Them hoes fire. Them hoes fire. Fire in my bank account. Fire in my bank account. These are about to be the ones that... Let's, let's break the bank. These are going to be the ones that break the bank. 
honestly and truthfully. But with that, this is your boy Landon Strange. This has been the Late Night Sneaker Talk Show. Thank y'all for tuning in. I'm posting this on Tuesday, so everything that is posted now, everything you see today will be on Tuesday. But I'm about to do Friday Night Bullshit, so also, well, today. So, tune in, let's have fun, and enjoy your rest of your night and day. Peace out. Yeah.